welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform, the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your chair for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What well, going my people? Hope everybody doing you know, okay. Hope everybody doing you know, alright. Give thanks to life and the gathering people. Only pass it now. Go on to so catch your bunks now. Five men were arrested and charged on Friday in connection with the abuse allegation by the American boys at the Atlas Leadership Academy in Treasure Beach, St. Elizabeth. The men were held following special operation and targeted raid in the Pedro Plains police area. People, let me tell you who them were land pan now. Them were land pan 30 year old. Odian Maxwell, him come from Allen Valley District. The boy lamp and 39 year old Edson Morris, him come from right out of Grey Bay, right out there, 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 so. The boy lamp and 51 year old Courtney Williams and Carson Cox, you see them two there? Them come from Sandy Bank District. All of them are placed here in a St. Elizabeth, but wait, the boy lamp and somebody else, too, you know. 23 year old. Damien Ehera, him is a footballer from about a guard pen right in a Spanish town. The men were slapped with charges including assault occasional bodily harm, cruelty to a child and assault at common law. Police say their court date are being finalized. Don't worry yourself. As soon as they get court date and them the little thing there, I can make you know what going for, what going for, what going for that. But guess what, man? I have other things can tell you now. We're still in St. Elizabeth. A St. Elizabeth farm, Evan Hilton, was arrested and charged after allegedly stabbing a man in his chest during an argument on Sunday, March 31st. According to police, Hilton, age 45, was having an argument with the victim along Coffee Lane in Rocky Hill when the argument got physical. It was during that time the accused used a knife to stab the victim in his chest. A report was made to the police and guess what? One power one. The man was taken to the hospital where he was treated and released. On Thursday, April 4th, Hilton was charged following an interview. I slap him, they forget slap. Him did forget slap way. But well, I know me tell you about this little dirty laborer boy, you know. Darren Chinnock, a laborer from Salt Spring, St. James, arrested and charged after he allegedly pointed a firearm at a woman during an argument in March. He has been charged with assault with common law, possession of a prohibited weapon, and the use of firearms to commit a felon. According to the big E that police them at about 10 30 p.m. on Friday, March 29, Duran and a woman were having an argument when he pulled a firearm from right out of him. Oh, yes and pointed it upon the woman. He was subsequently arrested and charged following a report to the police. Yes, the police them struggle for this boy, you are slapping me. Well, and now, I said, my brother, Nicholas. What did that Nicholas be a talk about? He said, go on, power, go on. He said, boom, he go over Spanish town because he might look for gunman and gun and a bag of things. I said, go on, power, go on. Time after 5 p.m. today, operatives from the St. Catherine North Police Division conducted several operations in the Spanish town area in search of wanted men, persons of interest, and suspicious persons who we believe are from other police jurisdictions. During the operation, one submachine gun, one magazine, and seven live 9mm cartridges were recovered in a yard. This operation was conducted in Pine Avenue, which is located in Ebony Vale, Spanish town. Two persons were detained as the St. Catherine North CIB conduct further investigation. We use this opportunity to appeal to law-abiding citizens to cooperate with the police as we pursue wanted men and we aim to seize illegal firearms across the division. We also aim to disrupt and degrade gangs as we maintain law and order right across the St. Catherine North police division. That is that where that is concerned. You know what land on my people may ask you a question. Who oh, in a them right mind would have left Spanish town and go live a port more? Let me ask you a question because I'm from one big dirty thinking ghetto to another little piece of dirty thinking ghetto. I'm telling you the truth. But what you are going for what you are youth up on the screen? You don't know him? I know what you know him. And I know what you really go on for what you are know him. Me, if you give the full details, but you don't have to wait. You understand because big wins still are run. Yeah, man. Big Wayne still around. I wait until Big Wayne reach in a Maxfield before I can go so. Boom. Take up my phone. Have a conference call with him and Samo Paul. And then after I find out what I want, I come back home, come tell you what's going to be 
the motive or the reprisal. So don't need to worry yourself. You don't need to worry yourself. You understand? So if Clive family I look for him, or should I say, pick one if a family I look for you, them no need for worry. Them no need me know which part you there. Me and who else you there know exactly which part you there. Who don't know, have to wait. You understand? No matter of fact. While you now wait till you can go and grab on from this and use ya. A woman was shot and injured after she asked a man to pay before entering a nightclub in Salem in Runaway Bay St. Anne Saturday night. The injured woman has since been hospitalized. The police report reached a news tip indicated that around 8 32 p.m. was at the nightclub and a man was about to enter the establishment. The now injured woman called out to him and told him he had to pay $500 to enter. The man, the police said, went over to the woman and started a conversation. The said man then pulled a firearm from his waist and fired three shots. Bam, 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 bam. Hitting the woman upper body, the gunman then escaped on foot in the area. The man never depend on peer business. The unit from the St. Anne's Bay Highway Patrol arrived at the scene and rushed the woman to the hospital. And guess what? She admitted. You understand? Admitted. The man never depend on peer anything. But anyway, people, I know that will come for talk about. You understand? You are going for what are going now. Hold on now, people. I can stop you all right us and talk to you for a minute. You understand? Because sometimes you have to make the youths them see and uh, hear for themselves and know where I go and power where I go on. You see the ghetto where I come from and the ghetto where I live in a two purpose it was created for. Purpose one, the politician them win election. I see the needle like a purpose of uno stay there and kill off each other. I saw the same around Alman town from the other day you know, and I wonder my view. We really are going for, we really are going for the youth them around them. Why so much of them just are dead off and so much of them involved in a foolishness? Where them are fight for? Me ask them the same thing. Me sit down and me ask them the same thing, you know, and them don't know. Then just watch them on a generation who are in the state of a continue. At some point, the cycle has to break. We have to break the cycle. Because when I fight for right now, it make no sense, you know. All who been listening, on the seat for yourself. When them a fight for them, it no sense, no sense whatsoever. He says, she says, that they say that they never come, that they never go over there. So that the man they want to do this, that the man they want to do that. It no make no sense. It no make no sense. All of them grew up together. See me? All of them grew up together. Nobody's no need for dead, you know. All who dead. Dead already. Nobody has to need for dead. Uno know all who have the angles. Just put them together and make them have a sit down and talk. Work out the little fool and she's why I go on because where people are dead over, no make no sense. And who for dead now nah, dead that are the worst thing about it every time I tell you, you know. The people them who for dead, nah dead. Like the instigator, they them nah dead. I just something that look at you who they have can bug around the place because they want a stripe and them are dead. We really cause everything. Alright? I'm going to listen to what I want for what I want for this. Them them I'm going to open and say so. And that they really have fight over. And that really I go on my view. Then all this makes sense. My boss, big up yourself. You see you. I don't know how you do it, but you know everybody business. I told them the other day, stop, call up your name. But them didn't listen to me. I want you to know that we the people of Woodford Park like how you're fixing everybody business and not picking any side. Now them see that you're not a walkover. I hope them keep their mouth shut. Now that them business gone worldwide. The police need to also charge Ashani for Daddy Roy killing. We all want this war to end because it makes no sense. Malik and Spungy with them lies should be blamed for all of this. Let me tell you how everything went down. The war started because Malik who is Glenroy's son bad mind Tambo. He went and told his family that Tambo wants to be done when him know that was never the case. And all of this was because they didn't go to Tambo wedding. So when them kill Tommy Lee Tambo started to take things serious. All of them used to par, and it was Tambo we teach all of them to ride bike. And that was on his bike so none of what is happening don't call for. Has for Spungy she came in after the bad mind and the wedding mix up. She started to tell people that Tambo wanted kill Otto when she knew nothing went like that's. 
Because at the same time when she was saying all of that, the ex-policeman bar got robbed and it was Tambo, Otto and Tommy Lee the camera catch on the robbery. The Walker family and Tambo mother and grandmother could have stopped this from escalating. But the Walker decided to push it. The first thing them do was to tell lie that the man that Ashani and CJ kill was trying to go in on Princess. Because them think it was one of Tambo boy. But the youth was telling them that it was the Don from land send him to Muma for Glenroy. And them still kill the youth from you look on the youth you could see that him not to 100 in him head, then after that them kill Tommy Lee. I am going to show you how long they wanted to kill Tommy Lee now. Ashani the scammer boy did buy a Glock but Crocs did a run it off, so Crocs and Tommy Lee always a par, so one day them go on Arnold Road and saw a car and fired sunshot into it. So from that day police want them. So Crocs him go Campbelltown go check him women and start beat her so she and her brother them gang him and she call her policeman. When the police come him said to Crocs where is Tommy Lee? Because him knew that Crocs knew where him was hiding, but he told the police he doesn't know. So the police told him let's make a deal and if him work with it him won't lock him up. The police told him to either give him Tommy Lee or the gun that did the shooting. But because Crocs was Tommy Lee second him decide to give them the gun. So him send for the gun that the scammer boy did buy and give the police. So from that day the scammer boy start pre. But a trick the police trick Crocs because it was the same police get a call say him over a track and come for him they wanted to kill him. Him never have no gun but the same gun that they gave the police a hit them put on him after he was begging and begging them for him life. Don't kill me officers I have two young baby a live for. So from the police them kill Crocs them started to pre Tommy Lee. Worse him apart with Tambo so them make the scammer boy brother program Tommy Lee so them can kill him. The day when Tommy Lee dead a three of them a walk, the man them don't even look on the scammer boy brother. First rumor the walker them start spread is that a Tommy Lee cousin kill him because Tommy Lee and him cousin did fist it out. When then no nothing like that happened. Right where Wendy have the car wash. So right now then trying to mix up everybody in the mess. But they all need to come together and work things out before more people dead this fight for power makes no sense. Alad of name ago call but let me just tell you this before you hear Spungy never had no power round here. Only thing we can give her credit for is Lisa's son killing. She called the shot on that one because when she fly down and she cuss Glenroy saying how him a don and make man stab her pickney. And him never do anything about that. But that killing bring down the whole community trust me if she did just listen to Glenroy none of these youth would die. One bad move bring down the whole system. Okay then just like how me tell you is so it go ball to ball. She knew she was wrong that's why she scared for her life now and she run from the community and gone swallow field gone live with man. But we all know she have links still. I soon tell you who that is and you're going to be surprised, this one you never saw coming. Let me just fix up one little thing from the blog the other day. Big Papa women don't see any man from Jake's road nothing don't go so. Don't let them try to change the narrative on us because Tambo and Big Papa link and them have the Jake's road link and the Walker family have the back bush link. And you know them two place their at odds so nothing like that. Let me tell you something now remember Orion and Ashanti who spungy daughter together. Oh I am guessing they didn't want that to come out. My boss loan facts we a beat them with now. As for Wendy she just love chat more while and just because her son's a par with Tambo them ago always call her name. But we not going to follow her up, she was just looking like for her stream for her live it's a money making thing. Like I said them did a try say of the wedding but Tambo did invite them but none of them showed up. If Maliki never love beg Tambo wife friend would come and marry him to they would have a double wedding. This is how the Walker family and associates work. If you can't give them you are no use to them. As long as you are giving, you and them good. 99.9% .9 of the walkers don't work. Them ever want people things from the young to the old trust me. Every day all them want is red eye and bad mind over a next man things. All of them little boys you now seeing handling gun a crocs of the cause of it. Bad to bad no little boy could not be around Glenroy much less to have gun a handle. All of them would have to be in school. Don't know how them make a dunce so led them and the worst part about it is this. Crocs was never a bad man him was a big thief. First time him go prison as a black bury him thief a police track it down when Glenroy find out what him really do Glenroy bun down him house flat with everything. So when him come back a road him did have to stay wide. Glenroy tell him to change him dirty thieving style and then him can come back. So him come back and then little after that Glenroy get lock up so him sister them start boots him up. 
Then him and K Balin bout 10 more man go kill the youth from Jake's road. That is how him get fame, but him is a lucky boy because if him never have on the bulletproof him dead the same night. A K ball run and push down the man because of him head the man was aiming for next. Oh I am going to tell you something again that you didn't know, you wonder who got Otto into, the big high school on Mountain View? That was the great Ryan. Spungy daughter young and look good she well cock up but she don't have any ambition she get that from Toya and princess them. So guess what her pussy talk for her. Only bad man and top man she want. Bad to bad our mother work hard. We want all of this to stop who dead already them can't come back. The Walkers and Tambo family need to come together and put an end to all of this. People watch our one power wag one know my style already and I keep nothing from uno. So this is you wanna see on the screen with the rifle pose so and spliff catching them outside. Them call him thick man and guess what? He come from right over time spend right there, 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 but him a power over Gregory Park, you understand? Him a power over Gregory Park right now, no golf right there, so him a wanna sum up all killer, you know? Yes, him a wanna sum up all killer. But guess what, go on. You know, so one little thing jump off yesterday. I remember me tell you no people, say, yo, put more. I will know next. Come like a goat mount me off, I should have said. Because, look a bit after and listen to the review, you know, people. This a boy, you dead, you know? This a boy you're yeah, dead, the man them slap out the whole line made back him in a crowd, stand up and the man them just call him out and put shot pan him. I say, people, big way run, big way run, big way run, big way run. Ah, no, big way still a run, everybody I wonder. How oh, far big way I run, because we know some car run go back to Max Field, you know. Yeah, man, we know need that one for the next thing man gets slapped with. Fee him time soon come. Fee him time soon come, but guess what, go on power, go on. Then get this a one, yeah. You understand, people? Only you to your first. Okay? Thanks for watching. This was a My View TV production. Remember to share, like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, tell a friend for tell a friend, and remember, it never bring nobody forward for cheer for him. Walk good.